Kate Middleton's Wimbledon outing gave her sustenance, she has gone through something awful. Kate Middleton received a welcome typically reserved for competitors when she descended the steps at Wimbledon to her front row seat in the Royal Box on July 14, and she was visibly moved by the standing ovation. For the Princess of Wales, 42, who shared in June that she experiences good days and bad days as she continues treatment for an undisclosed form of cancer diagnosed earlier this year, this was clearly a good day. She and daughter Princess Charlotte traded giggles and chit-chat alongside sister Pippa Middleton, and despite being front and center for around two hours and forty minutes, she appeared to have gained some comfort from the reception and being out and about. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. This will have given her sustenance. She has gone through something awful and stressful, and it is crucial to have little wins to look forward to or to give you the courage and energy to go forward, a palace insider tells people exclusively in this week's issue. And this was it. The rare outing, announced the day before and just her second public appearance of the year, didn't come without much thought, planning and steely preparation on the royal's part. It showed a lot of courage and character, as she knew that the world was watching, says Robert Jobson, author of the new book Catherine, the Princess of Wales, a biography of the future Queen, out August 6. Princess Kate attended the last day of the Wimbledon Championships in her role as patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. Photographer Carl Wai Tang captured her memorable entrance, made even more special by Princess Charlotte's look of admiration toward her mother. She usually comes in, walks down and into her seat, Tang tells people. But she stood for a while and took it all in. For her to acknowledge it, and take in the applause was special. Wimbledon had been waiting with bated breath for her to return, and she was back. Since her last high-profile outing alongside the royal family on June 15 at Trooping the Colour, the Princess of Wales has been focusing on her recovery and finding joy in her children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, while gradually returning to her duties behind the scenes. A palace source confirms that Princess Kate has been making calls, speaking with staff and staying informed on the latest research for her royal causes while doing a little work from home, as Kate described on June 14. As a source close to the royal household, it's good not to feel under pressure and just take her time and have slow days if she needs to. That shift in priorities around her health has been crucial. Before, she used to live her life by the calendar, and now she is living her life, and the calendar comes in after, Jobson says. She will be back, but when you have had an experience like this, it changes your perspective and the order of things. The Princess of Wales, 42, stepped out at the tennis tournament with her daughter, Princess Charlotte, and sister, Pippa Middleton, for the men's singles final in just her second public event of the year amid her cancer treatment. Robert Jobson, author of the new book Catherine, the Princess of Wales, a biography of the future Queen, out August 6, tells people exclusively in this week's issue, before, she used to live her life by the calendar, and now she is living her life, and the calendar comes in after. She will be back, but when you have had an experience like this, it changes your perspective and the order of things, he says. Princess Kate would usually attend Wimbledon finals with her husband, Prince William, but he took their oldest son, Prince George, to watch England's soccer team play in the final of the Euros against Spain in Berlin. The family was soon reunited, and they are now looking ahead to a summer of seclusion, privacy and continued healing for her. They're likely to spend much of it at their country home of Anmer Hall, close to the beaches of North Norfolk, where the family enjoys outings and boating. A late summer stay at Balmoral Castle hosted by King Charles, 75, who is facing his own cancer treatment, will be factored in too. She won't have to be on center stage, a palace insider tells people. Being with her family and just being herself will give her energy. There will be plenty of time to focus on her recovery.